guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl and if you're scarlet so today i saw this video online and i want us to check it out actually this is a question that i don't know i don't know for everybody but for me i i usually ask myself a lot like why does god that don't save everybody if god has all the powers all the miraculous powers he is the alpha the omega then why does it leave us to go astray but then doesn't save us all so i saw this video and i want i wanted us to check it out and also know your thoughts so guys let's see what the video will go about i'm just wondering about what are the parameters to get into heaven just perfection simple. perfection yes so is there anybody in heaven right now yes and they were perfect no okay I'm so, just answering your question. Okay, so yeah. the parameters to get into heaven are perfection. Correct. There are people in heaven. Yes, ma'am. But nobody's been perfect. Correct. How's that possible? Grace. Okay. All right, here's how it works. This is, this is the gospel in a nutshell. We are not good. Nobody does good. Nobody's perfect. We all fall short of God's standard. Okay. We all justly deserve his temporal and eternal punishment. We live under the wrath of God because he's holy, righteous, and just. And when we see somebody who's a violent mass murderer and we think that they should get what, what they got coming to them, that's exactly how God feels, but a whole lot more. Because he doesn't like lying or stealing or cheating or dishonoring parents, taking his name in vain. God is going to settle the score and he's going to give everybody what they have earned for themselves. We've broken his laws. All we have earned is punishment. Okay. So. Okay. Um, well, let me, let me, let me just wait, indulge I, me I, just for 30 okay. more seconds. Go ahead. All right. But God is rich in mercy and he desires to save sinners, but he can't just forgive it and pretend those things didn't exist because then he would be unjust and he's not. So his plan from eternity past was to send his son in human flesh to be a representative for you to take the punishment you deserve, to take all of the righteous deeds that he did his entire life, credit them to your account. If you will repent and put your trust in his son, he will forgive you because he makes you perfect okay. in Christ. So my whole thing is that many people in the world in history before Jesus Christ and presently will never meet a Christian and they will never yeah. know about this religion. So there are wonderful people who are Muslim, who are Buddhist, who live in tribes all around the world. They will not know Christianity in the sense that you've in your privilege been able to know Christianity in this way. So are, I need to know if accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is the parameter to have an afterlife, a good afterlife. What do you as a Christian believe happens to all the souls that never knew Jesus? I, you know, it's a great question. And it's one of the harder questions. Okay. okay. Because I can't really be with a religion that's exclusive in that way that not everybody gets a chance. Sure. I'll, I'll explain that. But I just want to ask you a question. Did I resolve that tension for you about only perfect people go to heaven, but there are people in heaven because they've been made perfect by Christ? Did that at least make sense to you? Well, even in a perfect system, that still wouldn't be perfect because people don't get the chance to know Christ uh, okay. in that way. Uh, let, let me so, address that. But sure. was that I, satisfactory? I, I, I understand see how I work it together? I understand your argument there. Right. But there have been people for hundreds of thousands of years that have existed, or before Christ, sure. anybody before Christ. Yeah. I, I just think that it's a little bit silly then in a modern perspective to expect people to do these things that if there was a chance for those people prior to go to heaven, if you tell me, no, none of those people went to heaven, all of their souls were lost because they didn't know Jesus, then you, I mean, I don't know. It just. All right. You got two questions going now. So I'll answer the, how did people get saved before Christ? By believing in the Christ to come. Abraham. What if they never knew about that? What if they okay, were 10? Well, okay, I'll get to that one in a, I'll get to that one in a second. Okay. But people were saved in the Old Testament, for instance, before the cross, by believing in the promise. They maybe didn't have as robust an understanding as we get to have today, but they believed in a Messiah that must suffer for sinners. So early and by people, believing in Christ, they were beings, saved by Christ. Early human beings had to somehow have foreknowledge that there would be a Christ to come, a God to come, and they would have to no. have grace through no, that that's belief. that's a great, great question. I'll just tell you biblically okay. what you do with it. Totally up to you. God had a chosen group of people, the Jewish people. He made a covenant with a man named Abraham from Ur. 
He gave them a, he promised him a land, a nation, and a seed. The land is Israel, the nation is the Jews, and the seed, singular, was yet to be revealed. The New Testament tells us the seed was Christ. So God gave a promise to a man named Abraham. Jewish people lived in this nation. They were to be a nation that was a light to lighten the Gentiles. They were in the Mosaic Covenant. This was God's evangelism program. If these people obeyed, God would bless them to the max, and every nation would want to know who is their God. So God was evangelistic long before Jesus in proclaiming there is a Messiah to come. There were prophets, they traveled, they proclaimed. But to get to your big question, what about people who never hear? Here's what the Bible says. The heavens declare the glory of God, day after day they speak without saying a word. In other words, creation preaches God exists, and most people reject it. Everybody is without excuse because everybody knows God exists. The most basic intuitive fact on the planet is recognizing there is a God. You would never believe this microphone happened by itself. You shouldn't believe that you happened by yourself. You shouldn't believe the universe happened by itself. God right now is preaching to everybody here, look up, I exist, I made the place. It is, it is the most basic understanding we can have and most people suppress it because they don't want to submit to God. So the people who are on Boingo Boingo, they don't listen to the sermon he's preaching through creation, let alone what a missionary says. But, okay, well, okay. Well, it's, I, I don't it's, really it's, think it's, we're look, getting anywhere look, with this. Well, it's a hard question. Yeah. And, I, and, I'd, and I'd love to satisfy it for you, but there aren't good people in these other places. And God is reaching out to them, preaching through creation. And I believe if they will respond like, okay, there's a creator. I'm not right with him because my conscience tells me so. I believe that God will get them a preacher to tell them about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hmm. All right? I yeah, know that didn't just, satisfy. It, no, it, it, it's just such a limited view of human history. But thank you. Bill Gates went to a shopping mall in Seattle and he gave 10. I guess she was not satisfied. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't know. I think I agree with um, what the pastor said, said. I mean, I think the first part, the first question the lady asked was really sensible. She, she asked, um, what, what is, I mean, the procurement, like, what is the main thing that we should do we can do that can assure us heaven like can assure us salvation like heaven so the, he 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 answered perfection and she also asks <laughs> asks him so are people in heaven like are people really in heaven he said yes and are they perfect that was the same question that was in my mind so the people that they are in heaven are they perfect like did they live a perfect life and he said no so why then are they in heaven if they are not perfect? You said they, I mean, the only way you can be in heaven is to be perfect, right? So if they are not perfect, why are they in heaven? And he was like, grace. I just love the answer, grace. It's just grace. You see, this life, even though Jesus, like God sent his begotten son, Jesus, to come and die for us, to clean our sins and that. And surely no man can be perfect on this earth. No man is actually perfect. We try to obey the commandments as Christians. We try to do good. But then I bet you one way or the other, you're going to flip. You're going to go wayward. And that cannot make you perfect. But then we live by grace. That's what I think. It's just that grace is what is speaking for us. Grace is the one that's at least making us live. I mean, making us have life. I think it's grace. And so what about, I mean, what about the people that don't do good? You see, that's why obviously God knows the world is going to be full of sin. We are human. What well, one way or the other, we are going to sin. We are going to offend. We are going to break the commandments. So I... Even in the Old Testament, it was even said before, whenever they, they sin, they, they usually kill, slaughter a goat or a cow or sheep, whatever, to use their blood to 
be a, like a, a sensual sacrifice to, to clear your sins. So that's why God sends his only begotten son, that's Jesus, to come down, to come and die and, and save us from. He has said it all. I really, really agree with, with him. Since we are human, we will just fall short of, we, we, we will just flip, we will, we will sin one, one way or the other. We will, do, we will commit an atrocity, we will make mistake. That does not give us the opportunity to abuse the grace God has for us. Because we know the grace of God we, we will... It's always sufficient and abundant to us. We will just, we will just, just like intentionally, like intentionally, we will just intentionally sin. I mean, it's, that's not right. But then whenever we sin and we just pray to God, because he said, for all I've sinned, I'll fall short of the glory of God. So he knows that we, we, we are surely sinners. We should just try to do good. We should just try to follow the ten commandments because if we sin and we ask for forgiveness we we deeply regret and confess our sin and ask forgiveness he is just and faithful to forgive us all of our sins it's because of the grace because of the grace of god that's how we, we have this privilege so i think i really agree with the pastor in some terms in certain terms so i think as a as christians we can't just do all but then we should just try and, and do good. We should, we, should, we should just do good. I mean, do good because as humans, we know what is right and good, what is right and wrong, yeah? So we should just try and do good. Oh, do obey the commandments that we can obey. Just do good and stay faithful and just stay loyal, stay faithful to God. As you want humans to stay faithful to you, just stay loyal and stay faithful to God. Because surely, if you sin and you, you pray, I think since the grace is sufficient on us, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I'm really, I'm, re I'm really happy I checked out this. I just love the calmness of the pastor, he, how he was trying to explain things. I know the lady was not really satisfied with the explanations and it didn't really match her expectation. That's my feeling, that's my thought. But then I, I just love how intellectual the, the pastor is so guys let me know what you think about this video if you have any recommendation for me don't forget to leave it in the comment section and if you are new to my channel welcome and don't forget to click on the subscription button for more notification thanks for watching